Hi everyone. Welcome to day 24 of the Young A Day Challenge. I'm Andrew O'Brien. I'm doing Gion every day this month and trying to improve and grow and documenting my progress as well. So thanks for joining me and uh, I hope you enjoy. Today my inspiration is uh, it, it's Tong Sudo practitioners from Pennsylvania from a school called Amcor. They are exceptional. They all have very high standards and as in my own journey I've sort of moved into karate from Tong Sudo and I've looked at other styles and seen how they've done things. I've, I've kind of fallen in love with the Shotokan method of moving and how it's all about speed and precision and getting there fast. Okay, yeah. bit of Shitoryu influence as well for Rika Usami and uh, Antonio Diaz but but really what I saw first outside of Tong Sudo were were people like Junior Lefebvre if I'm saying that right and Lucio Marino and seeing them move Gee. one more time thinking of today, rather than moving like Shotokan and trying to be super fast throughout the whole thing, like using the stance work to get you to the end point quickly, I'm going to be thinking more like this. Go! Hanat! Go! Hanat! Baro! I would say is a lot more like like a ship passing on the water and then loading a cannon to fire like its point of impact it's all about being strong here but the speed at which you reach your position in the final uh, in the final position of the stance doesn't matter as much so that's what I'm thinking about today I'm gonna slow down the stance I'm gonna really prioritize initiating the move at the right time, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, everyone. And there's the bow, chumbi. So like I said, trying to be graceful, slow as I move in and fire at the last second, like a graceful ship on the water with a big old cannon on it. Yeah, I had mixed success. Part of it is being on uneven ground where I filmed yesterday was pretty flat. I should try going back to that, but I'm gonna get so many dog walkers, you know? The high blocks felt okay there, being just a little slower, centering myself, bringing my foot in. That looked okay. Yeah, a little wide on the stance there, but again, I don't know if I can blame myself because of the uneven ground. I'm figuring these out. The palm strikes are getting nice. I think part of the benefit to this method of doing it is that it allows you to really stack everything in the right place before you begin to initiate each move. The slower stance transfer gives you probably more margin for error matters a little less if you're uh, a split second off. It definitely looks slower to me. Could just be because I watched Lucio Marino doing stuff, making this video though. And there's the end. Paro and short. Thanks for watching, everyone.